What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Maxwell. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. So we got a whole bunch of new upgrades and I didn't want to buy them off camera, like I wanted you guys to be here for it. And so we got like a fisticles upgrade. Wait, no, that was there. I know that was there. Hmm. That's weird. This is very, very odd. Something has changed on me. That was there a second ago. We are also able to buy a new leather jacket, which I think is a really good call because I get hit in the face a lot. So, covering myself with some sort of gear to keep from getting hit more, it seems like a good plan, so I'll go with it. I got a cool little shoulder pad right there. That's pretty sweet. Just in case you needed yourself a football guard. I don't know what the next one's up are going to do, but the next one's at Sand King, and we're only at like, I don't know, we're at like the third rank right now. So, it's going to be a while. Maybe it was new wrist armor. Oh, it was new wrist armor that we had. Okay, so I'll probably slot that in too. So in the previous episode, we had gotten ourselves pretty much to the point where we can do whatever we want. We can also upgrade the shotgun, which I was kind of leaning towards. We can get a second barrel right here. And the second barrel seems like it would be really, really helpful because the reload time can really kind of get you in trouble. I gave him longer hair and a bigger beard because I figured, why not? I'm not going to stop until we look like Opie from Sons of Anarchy. He's going to have a big-ass beard and crazy hair. His wife... Oh, I can't even talk about it because... I'll be spoilering. I gotta let it go. I gotta... Wait, I can... Can I buy the Jimmy? What? It only costs 44? How did I not know about that? Oh, dude. What? So disappointed with myself right now. So disappointed. So what do I need? Gas guzzler to get more rounds? Okay. Well, we're looking pretty sexy. Oh, yeah. I was driving this car over here. Sorry. In between episodes, I went and, like, paid my rent and had, like, a talk with the neighbor and just, like, a bunch of stuff. It was random. It was random. My neighbor's... <laughs> No, no, Absol no, 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 you leave him alone. Dinky D's a friend. He's not for eating. We need to find a safe place for you to stay, Dinky D, and keep these savages at bay. I'll put something together. This is weird wiener rig you're building over here. That definitely has kind of a wangish look to it. I like it. We should mount it on the hood and point it at our enemies. Might make them back off a little bit like, what in the hell? Ooh. Dog and buggy. He grows sniffs. Chum's buggy and the dog are unlocked and available to be used. Safely locate minefields and land mines. Okay, cool. So that'll help out right there. Luckily, he knows a whole bunch of commands, which is kind of weird, but you know. I saw what you've been doing for the camp, and the boss seems to trust you. But I don't have time for talk. What's this guy doing over here, just tweaking out on mushrooms, freaking out? The colors! The colors are so colorful! I don't know if I should go out and work on upgrades or if we should just stick to like the main story. What do you have? That's out of. Bet you need to keep her filled with a steady diet of primo ammunition, huh? Always need ammo. Keep talking. There's something brewing out there. More boys from Gastown are tightening the noose fierce like. I hear the little Scrotus got his gumball sawed up by some wild deuce. <laughs> This land is about to be scorched by Gastown Wrath. Our weapons won't do. I need powder. Black, deadly, and smoky. And that's where I come in, huh? Now, listen. One of my people was taken by Thrall Rustlers sometime past. He sprang himself back here, told me a prisoner there knows the recipe for black powder. You go get me this prisoner, alive and talkative, and he tells me the specs for cooking up the powder. And you're set for ammo for life. I mean, you still need shells and whatnot, though. Like, it'd still be tough to build a shell out of nothing. You could do it, but you'd have to get old school with it. All right, well, let's go liberate a prisoner here. I was going to say, is that my skin scene? No, it looks like I've got... I thought his skin was exposed, but his skin looked kind of bag-like. He had a definite, like, oogie-boogie thing going on. And so I figured... I just... Wait, what is this over here? Did I miss this? What is this? A small stockpile. Oh, 500 scrap? Really? We can make the stronghold better and, like, nicer? Well, shit, we got all kinds of stuff to work on. I'll probably just play this kind of freeform at this point. Let's work on this little area around Jeets, because I know we kind of bypassed the entire area to the south. So if we take a look down here... It's all these areas that I'm talking about. I mean, there is still some stuff left over on the left hand and on the bottom side. But by and large, we actually missed a whole bunch of stuff over here. So I'm going to fast travel over to here. Yes, I would like to fast travel. Thank you. We're going to move on over. Does that guy still have a saw hole in his head, I wonder? 
because we totally saw his brain pan up pretty gnarly style. That opening video was no joke. Like, if I had taken a hit like that in the opening cinematic, I'd be like, I'm done. Cut me, coach. I'm finished. I can't go no further. What do we got going on over here? So let's focus on... I'm going to take this oil pump first. I wish you could actually queue him up. Let's take the oil pump first. We'll see what we can wipe out over on this side. And then there's also some parts and things laying around, so we might get lucky and grab some of the little things that we need here and there. Chum's hideout on this side. It actually looks like this map doesn't have a whole lot going for it. We've got a low supply at the moment of, like, random stuff, so... Meh. I mean, I'd prefer to have a little bit more scrap so we could do some upgrades as they come down the pipe, but... The red eyes? Who are the red eyes? I assume that, as you say, they have red oculars. Either that or every single time they write something on paper and the eyes are red. But that seems like it'd be really, really difficult to keep going for a long period of time. Oh shit, never mind. Well, okay, maybe we'll do it this way. Ow, I've been shot. Got him. That's all that they have? Alright, we got this. Let me get back inside the cab, we'll rush this gate. And then we should be good to go, assuming that there's no war crier. There's a war crier, that's kind of an issue, but... Jump on out, let's do this thing. It's fight time. You, I want you. Especially you, Shiv Punisher. Ah! Stabity, stabity. Make with the gravity. I'm gonna get a couple punches off over here. Get the parry. Whoop this guy's ass. Uh, he was gonna attack, but then he backed off. I'd back off too in this situation. Yep, I saw you coming at me. You ain't got me fooled. Yep, body slam time. Even more ass whooping happening. Yep, you too. Let's go. Filled that thing up quick. Six scrap right there. Hopefully a bullet off one of these guys. I need a bullet or something. I need a backup plan just in case this does not go according to plan. We gotta blow up the Derek up there. I don't normally blow up guys named Derek, but in this case I'm gonna make an exception. Sorry, Derek's. Sorry, Confederated Derek's. We've got an insignia right there that we've wiped out. Now we need to find a way to get up top. So there's probably a climbable around here somewhere. But not on that side. Yes, we will. Don't worry. We'll get the Magnum Opus done fine. Don't worry about it. I would never let that car fail. It's too awesome. It's got spikes. Oh, look at you letting me into the rest of the base. Good boy. I'm over here. Punch you in the ass cheek. Oh, this one got pushy. All right. Fine then. I mean, I don't know if you need the ass whooping right now. Is he down? He's got little things around his head, so I didn't know if he was down yet. Up we go. I'm gonna drink a little bit of water quickly. All right, got ourselves nice and tooled up. I mean, there's food right there, so it's kind of a bad plan, but what if we get punched more in the future? Then we'll actually need it, so let's grab this. I think we can either cross the chasm. Oh, we only have, we have to, okay. So we'll go up here. I bet you there's gonna be a fight right here too. It looks like it opens up. Maybe, yay or nay. Uh. There's that war crier. I'm gonna try and get rid of him before anything bad happens here. I don't suppose that stacks up, right? Man. Ow. We got like a next le Ow, shit. Okay. Alright, gents. Let's do this the hard way, then. You know, you're glowing red, but you don't look that much tougher to me. You still feel squishy and soft. Let me touch your squishy bits with my fist and also my shoulder and also the ground. No, I don't think I am. I thought that maybe I could get that done before, you know, they would punch me in the head, but it didn't work that way. Goodbye, War Crier. Rough day to be you. Looks like the job market just opened up for new War Criers. To put some up on Craigslist, be like, Wanted, new War Crier. Less explosive than last variety. Mm, kick this down, maybe? There's another one over there, too. 
This looks like the way we're going to pass into the next area, so I'm going to go check this one out first. Bam, bam, bomb. And now we got that pry bar, too, which means we can go around and get some of the other stuff. Ooh, hey, what's going on, Scrap? You want to come hang out with me? Be inside my pocket? My human pocket? I got nowhere else to put you. And so, you know, I'm just, just going to shove it up there, and I'll carry it around for a little while. It's a little bit stiff, but it'll work. A little bit more, and then we got another insignia over here. Insignia dealt with! A smashing good time. And we've got two ladders that take us to alternate locations. I'll check. Oh, never mind. That one's blocked off. I've probably maybe been over there already, possibly. I don't know. These places get me all discombobulated. Ow. I thought I could swing faster than he could. I was wrong. Another crunch time out of the way. I see water over there. Not icy water, but I see them with my eyes. Icy water I feel like you would never find in this world. Alright, put the water away. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yep. Oh, he was trying to body slam him. Damn it. He went into that move at exactly the wrong time. Oh, you're not down? Fine. One kick to the head. Now are you down? Man, he needed a stomp out. We had to get done with that guy. He took like five stomps before he went out. You got the Pumpkin Head Express. All right, a little bit of scrap. Still no bullets, weirdly enough. I would just adore some bullets right about now. I used them all up on a bad situation. Scrotus Insignia, gotta go. All right, that's three out of four. We got a memento on this side. And we only trade food for government coupons. Cash not accepted. Okay, I don't know like what that is. Appears to be some kind of like ration card or maybe some kind of food stamp or something. I'm not really sure. Got the oil rig over here. We gotta find something to blow it up with. I don't happen to have a whole lot of explosives on me, so I might have to get creative here. Maybe, what is this? Just knock down a whole bunch of barrels? Why? Oh, shit. Damn it. So now where am I? Oh, am I back at the beginning? Balls. Fell off a railing and now I'm going to be punished for it. Ugh. Waddle my dumb ass back around where we were before. He does run kind of waddly. It's kind of funny that Chum points that out because he's definitely got kind of like a weird bow-legged thing going on. I should probably fill up my water while I'm over here too. Damn it. Got to run all the way back around. Why is my back all bloody? Like, why do I have... Oh, shit. I don't have any bullets, neither. Ugh. That is troublesome. I also missed some scrap over here, so that's fine with me. Apparently, I needed to come back through here. Grab the water off this side. What this game needs is it needs a wasteland mode. Like they have in... They have, like, the hardcore mode in Fallout where you can, like, sit there and you have to have water every certain period and you have to have, like, hey, there's some gas. It's okay. I needed this anyways. All right. So can I blow up this insignia over here? I wonder if I can get that look. It looks kind of high up. I don't know if that'll work. Man, I have no way to destroy that right now. I don't have any bullets. Balls. That upsets me. Now I got to run all slow. People are really good at walking in the center of the road here. Like, perfectly, good, weirdly good at it. Is there anything up here? Or is this something that I already checked out? Because if there's a bullet, I would like to have it. Not like in me, but, you know, to shoot at you. So those are the doors we kicked down. God, this is taking forever. This is upsetting. 
At least we got the gas now, so I think we would have had to go all the way around anyways to go get the gas, so... It's not like that big of a deal, but it's still kind of a big deal. It really sort of makes me want to weep a little bit. I'll come back for some of the other collectibles later because I'm not a big guy. Normally, I'm kind of obsessive about that, but I understand we're on, like, camera right now, so being obsessive is not really the best way to use my time. Come on, buddy. There we go. And goodbye it goes. More infrastructure laid to waste. Who needs to rebuild when you can destroy? It's just easier that way. I always question that about Just Cause 2. Like, so we're basically annihilating the entire infrastructure of Pinal. Who's going to come back and rebuild this? I assume Halliburton will probably have something to do with it. That actually did not help that much. I expected to get a lot more mileage out of that. Didn't happen, though. Didn't happen. A gas can over there, just in case you need it. I don't even know if I have one in the back right now. Come on, we can scrape our way out of here, I believe. Who's up next? What's our next goal here? Let's take a look around. We got a project part right there, which is actually not a bad call. We've also got another oil pump over there. Let's get on... I'm going to get him first. Let's get this sniper. And once I get the sniper, we'll go after whatever comes next. I'll probably go after that second oil camp and see if we can take out two in one level. Get ourselves restocked on scrap a little bit. And then we'll go work on some minefields. Or we'll go steal that car body. Some of the upgrades seem like they'd be really, really useful, though. Yeah. I am aware. There we go. Away with him. So he's been solved. Our next goal is going to be this guy right here. So let's get flipped around. I ain't worried about war parties. I got this. I bring the party everywhere I go. Both the war and the party. The front end and the back end. We got the whole statement. So what have you got for me? We got an information thing over here. Might not be wise to go through the front gate if they can help me out with this. Sure, will do. Stay put. Avert your deadly stare, Walker. You do not want my hide. No, you want to kill the suckling swine of Scrotus's hordes. They have a camp on the edge of outer graves. Be alone might be worth the massacre. But see to it that the war crier is muffled, or he'll pump them all up with his damn yells. Huh. You feel nimble. There's a dangerous hidden pathway which might give you a bit of an edge in the carnage. Pray tell, you don't want to tell me where that's at, right? The hell did my car go? Enough weirdness for right now. Let's do this thing. Ugh. Where's the sniper at? I gotta get out of this situation. Hold up. Hey! Gonna drag him to the edge of that place. We got. I think if I could take the little bastard. I'm not sure exactly what I hit right there. Damn, man. How do they outcorner me like that so well? Like, every single vehicle in this game outcorners you hella hard. And there's almost nothing you can do about it. Like, they just spin in circles the entire time and you can't get ahead of them. There we go. And now I'm going to beat the living shit out of you. Shouldn't have gotten out of the car, man. That was a terrible decision. But yeah, it feels like all the enemies corner way better than you do. So they just like, every time you get into one of these little battles, they spin in circles nonstop. I just sit there doing donuts the whole time. So you either got to get them on the first pass or you don't get them at all. 
That and the harpoon gun is a little bit weird. Like, I'm aimed at his fuel tank right there, but it's not letting me grab it. And we lack the harpoon for any of the other cool stuff, so... The real best that I can do right now is to try and pull him out of the car when I get the opportunity, I guess. I'll try to stick with that for right now. Alright, so the war cry... Oh, we have a bullet again. That's good. That'll be nice. Depend if I can make it work. Ah, off-camera attacks. They need to give you a thing on the edge of your screen that makes that viewable. Because bullshit getting hit by somebody from behind when you can't even see. That or at least a way to rotate the camera up and above, maybe. There it is. Got any knives left, but that'll do it. We're the Feral Fiend level two. I can grab a couple more bullets here off anybody. Griffith has appeared in the region. He probably only shows up whenever you have like random points to spend with him. What am I even trying to destroy right now? And is this going to be a big expenditure in time? Because I just want to like match this out real quick. Got gas over here. I assume I'm going to need it. What is that right there? They got some kind of like car thing that drags around. So that goes down. We got a ladder over here. See if we can get across this place without too many problems. What we got in here? Yeah, give me that stuff. Let's get it. I need more scrap badly. Scrap badly always. Oh, that also sounds like a really, really badass name for a band. Man, we come up with all kinds of good names while we're around here. That guy's running away, which I've never seen before, and I don't trust it for a second. Looks clear in here. Steal some valuables and be up and out as quickly as possible. No vittles or whatever else. So that was the goal, huh? That was what this was all working towards. Man, he just carries it through, doesn't he? You have to hit spacebar, otherwise he just keeps attacking and turning in circles. Interesting. You can't, like, waltz around him, basically. Until you hit the spacebar. I think the spacebar is actually pivotal to that right there. Scrotus insignia on the other side, maybe. Grab that stuff. And there's a memento right there by the turlet, I guess. We will not sell you food. We will not allow you entry. Only military personnel are allowed. Intruders will be shot. Okay. Well, we got another relic. Don't really know how helpful those are going to be long term, but short term, yeah, they're kind of satisfying. Hey, I'm holding to break. Yes, there we go. Snap that thing off real quick. Just in case there's another ability for more Griffa points. I think we came in. Let me kick this open. Straight off the hinges. Hey, we got a part. What's that? Survey crew, two of three. Okay. I don't know what that does, but it seems like it'd be nice to have. Get my health back while I'm here, too. Travel on up this way, and we'll look for whatever it is we're supposed to be breaking apart up here. Oh, wow. You can get some big old AoE action going right there. Kick his Brock out. There we go. Man, you guys are tough. If I just get rid of him real fast. I feel like messing with him long term. Grab this over here. 
right, got our one scrap. Kick the door down. Frame rate's kind of screwy in this location. Keeps bouncing in between like 60 and 50. Occasionally down to 40. Kind of weird. We got a Griffa token over there, so I'm going to do my best to get rid of that. Grab this little guy. I can break this one manually, so it's not that big of a deal. Down it goes. Looks like this might be the risky scaffolding she was talking about. No, I came up this way. Never mind. I would like to blow this thing up, like, right now. There we go. That's where we're headed now. Oh man, look at all you guys. Being all social and shit. Been hooking up through Facebook. Anybody down to punch fools? Oh, come on. That's whack that you can get hit while doing that body slam. Because the game does it on its own. You have no control over that, so you get punished for something that you have no control over. He just sort of like does it. Right, got you. Ah. Uh. Once again, they need to put an icon on the edge of the screen if somebody outside of your view line takes an attack at you. Otherwise, you kind of get blindsided a lot. Granted, for realism's sake, but realism's sake, you definitely have blind slots. But in terms of gameplay, like I think Batman gives you a little bit of an indicator, as does Shadow of Mordor, if they're off screen. There it is. Oh, no, he's not even down yet. Damn, son. Get out of here. Break that guard. Man, these guys take a lot of hits. You know, work those guys all day long. Let's keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them. Must have a tough genealogy. There it is. On this side, it looks like we got something up in here. A little bit of scrap, maybe. I'm sure that I've missed a bunch of it so far, but let's see if we can make our way to the Derrick because we are out of time for today. Some of these places get expansive, man. They go on forever. They just keep on rolling. Huh. I don't know if I can shoot that or what I can do with it, but I don't feel like messing with it right now. And that's going to put us more or less where we need to be. Take a look around for a gas can. There it is. Let's clear this on out. And I will say this. Oh, we also have the boom sticky things over there. All right. Well, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here as we blow up some more stuff. This is Mad Max. I will see you all in the next episode. It's always fun to have you here. I definitely am looking forward to playing this game as much as possible in the future. But I will see you in the next batch of episodes. I do, everybody.